Welcome to our Tech Explainer video. Today, we're tackling a challenge that many app developers encounter. Our viewer asks, what is the best approach to upload over a thousand records to a server, especially when each record includes images from an iOS or Android app? This situation arises when an app operates offline, creating numerous records and images that need to be sent to the server once connectivity is restored. So, how do we ensure that all these records are uploaded efficiently while also handling any interruptions or API failures along the way? Let's dive in. Welcome to another tech video. Today, we're gonna to be going through your question, answering it, and hopefully finding that solution for you. Guys, Remember to stay a little bit crazy, like me, and hopefully get to that resolution. Now, let's continue on to that video. To upload over a thousand records with images from your app to the server, the first step is to implement batch processing. This means sending the records in smaller groups rather than all at once. Next, you need to handle network interruptions implement a retry mechanism that attempts to resend failed batches. This ensures that if a network call fails, the records are not lost. Additionally, maintain a local queue of records that need to be uploaded. This queue should be updated as records are successfully sent to the server, allowing you to track what has been uploaded. Finally, ensure data consistency by implementing a confirmation system. The server should send back a response for each batch, confirming successful receipt. If a batch fails, you can retry sending it. Let's now look at a user-suggested answer. To upload over a thousand records with images from your app, the best approach is to send each record separately, especially if they aren't related. Each upload will take about two seconds on a mobile connection. If you choose to send a large batch, ensure you have a stable connection for an extended period. A multi-part request can be used for each record, including both the record data and media attachments. You don't need to check for internet connection status manually. Instead, utilize libraries like Job Scheduler, Firebase Job Dispatcher, or Evernote's Android job for handling sync requests. Let's now look at another user-suggested answer. For uploading over a thousand records along with images from your app, consider using the Firebase Database API. It offers excellent offline and online synchronization features. You can also read and write data using the admin SDK for your Node.js server, which enhances your server's capabilities. Let's now look at another user-suggested answer. To upload over a thousand records with images from your app, use a divide and conquer approach. Start by setting a flag to track completion.
begin uploading from the first 100 records, then move to the next batch of 100, repeating this until all 1,000 records are uploaded. This method works effectively on both iOS and Android platforms, ensuring a smooth upload experience. Let's now look at another user-suggested answer. To upload over a thousand records with images from your app, start by saving your records in a local database. Use Object Relational Mappers, or ORMs, to manage your data efficiently. Next, utilize Retrofit for web service calls. It provides methods for handling success and failure responses, making your data upload process smoother. Finally, implement a sync adapter to send data to the server at regular intervals. This ensures your records and images are uploaded consistently. Let's now look at another user-suggested answer. To upload over a thousand records with images from your app, first determine how you've saved the images in your local database. Then create a service to monitor the connection status. When connected, submit each record as a multi-part request using retrofit or async task. It's best to submit one record at a time with retrofit or async task. This makes it easier to manage the success or failure of each upload. You can choose to submit records individually or in batches, depending on your needs. Lastly, if your data includes images, ensure your server can handle the process of transferring images to a third-party server for storage. I hope that video helped find the resolution you're looking for. If it did, guys, I'd appreciate it if you could hit subscribe. Until the next time that you need more technical help, I hope you have a good one. Cheers.